Hi guys, Rachel, Temple of the Rose. Capricorn, you get to be my very first YouTube video. So this is for Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, August 15th through the 23rd. I've already shuffled. I don't shuffle on camera because I think it's loud and annoying, but I do shuffle a little bit because I read jumpers. So let's go. First one. Second one. Too many. And this one wanted to come out, so we'll just leave it. Okay, so crowning energy, you have the strength card. Could be Leo energy, otherwise just strength, which is awesome. In your past position, you have the seven of cups. Um, you could have had a lot of options with, uh, this is just a general reading, so I'm not sure if it deals with love, money, whatever, family. Um, seven of cups, though, everything's kind of up in the air. You're not bringing it down to earth it's just kind of the fantasy card present position you have the reversed four of wands four of wands upright is a stability card so you might be feeling a little unstable um, you might have trouble manifesting some sort of stability in your life with whatever this resonates with for you future these these are the two that came out together you have the reversed eight of wands and the sun card so Eight of Wands in the upright is the kind of shoot your sh shoot your shot card. It's action, fast moving action. Since it's reversed, I would still take it as action, just slow moving. But it did come out with the sun. So the sun is ultimate happiness. Um, it just might be slow moving since the Eight of Wands is in the reverse. Or it's just a lot of fire energy. Um, you do have four fire fire cards out of five here. So in your outcome position, you have the reversed Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups upright is the disappointment walking away from these Eight Cups because they've all spilled over. Disappointment walking away card. Reversed, you might be having trouble walking away from something or you may have walked away from something. And that's why you have the sun in the future with the reverse state of wands that might be why it's slow because you might have had trouble walking away from something that was disappointing so i'm going to clarify some i clarify it with the world spirit deck and that one wanted to fall out but i didn't even think about what we were going to clarify first so let's clarify the reverse four of wands in your present position position for Capricorn. Oh, okay. So, 
you have the reverse seven of cups which you had upright in the past position so you have seven of cups twice water energy scorpio pisces cancer however since you had it upright in the past position right here which is kind of the illusion card where you have a bunch of options and you don't know which one to pick and then you have it reversed with the reverse four of wands in your present position maybe you did choose one option and it wasn't the right one and it led you to instability or you're still just kind of hanging out there and not picking an option and you have no stability because of that so let's clarify this reversed eight of cups down here in your outcome So your reverse eight of cups is clarified by the civil of cups which is also the queen of cups it's just what it's called in this deck um so a more water energy scorpio pisces cancer queen of cups is a good card it's very emotional so maybe you were having trouble walking away from this because there was so much emotion involved i'm going to clarify I'm going to clarify the Seven of Cups in your past position to see what the option might have been about that you weren't deciding on or that you weren't bringing to the material world. If it has to do with love, money, health, whatever. Let's see. clarified by the Hierophant in reverse. It's Taurus card. Um, so it either had to do with a commitment that you didn't want to make or some sort of spiritual, traditional energy, maybe marriage. Um, maybe you wanted it and didn't get it. Or you have a Taurus in your past position that isn't isn't picking an option, and that's why that Seven of Cups is there with the Hierophant. So let's clarify the Sun in your future to see what it is that's causing this happiness. The Sun's an awesome card. I rarely ever pull it for anyone. I don't think I've ever pulled it for myself. So let's see. Clarify the sun for Capricorn. Sun, moon, and rising. Oh, all right. So it's clarified by the Empress. The Empress, the Empress's fertility. Um, it's also its Earth energy, so it's kind of ultimate fertility, and it can also mean pregnancy. So um, I don't know what you guys have going on over there. If it's actual physical fertility or if it's abundance related to finances, just everything. The Empress is kind of like the Queen of Queens. Um, so if that's your energy, then great. I'm going to pull one more for your advice card down here at the bottom with the Queen of Cups. I'm not sure if you're dealing with a water sign or not, or if this is just you taking on this super emotional energy. So let's See, what is this Queen of Cups all about? Oh, okay. So you have the tower in reverse for your outcome. Um, maybe you've recently had a tower moment and it has you super emotional over here, or maybe you're resisting a tower moment um, because of emotions. Not sure, but that's what it is. The tower is 
shocking, it's transformational, it's complete change of everything going on in your life, but it's always for the better, even if it doesn't feel it. However, it is in reverse, so you're either resisting it or it's already happened, and that's why you're now at the Queen of Cups, which would be great. So, again, overall, strength, great card. It's also Leo energy if you're dealing with a Leo. Past position, you have the reverse Hierophant with the Seven of Cups. Present, reverse Four of Wands with the reverse Seven of Cups. So, focus on your stability and making a decision or bringing your dreams that are up in the air into the material world so that you have stability your future um, be careful about being slow with taking action you have the eight of wands action card in the reverse so just don't go so slow that you miss out on your son the sun and the empress here because that's probably one of the best combinations i've ever seen in somebody's future um, you could also be dealing with a Leo Taurus over here as well. The future position, if you have this tower moment, don't resist it because it always ends up in something better. All right, if you would like a private reading, you can get me at Rachel's Temple of the Rose Tarot.com or you can email me. Everything is in the description box below. Thanks.